Um, I, I will speak about uh, a survey that I found, and uh, because the, the, the surgeon has to be more convenient with uh, every every step, uh, and uh, I think one of the step is to remove the lens when it doesn't work. And to answer to your question, when we have a patient which is not happy, before that we wait long, 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 long time, <coughs> one, one year and stuff like this. Now, after two, two months, we take out the lens and we remember the patient. And it's an happy patient. But it's quite tricky to take out the lens, I will show you. And I just found a, a, a nice uh, a film of Bobby Osher this night, so I will show you that. So, just to go quick, I will just show you the, the last survey of practice scope uh, and market scope, and I think it's uh, important to, to look at this. You have uh, the, the surgeon do between 50 and 700 uh, cataract procedure in Europe, which is not too much, you can do more. And here is a very tricky thing. Most respondents offer toric and presbyopia correcting EOL. If you look at the multifocal EOL here, you see it's around 55 person who ask for a, a, a multifocal EOL. And for toric, it's still more. You see, it's uh, 84 person. And which is the best at our, uh, nowadays is multifocal toric IOL. I think everybody is, is, uh, uh, is agree and it's around 50%. Now look at that. That's what we implant in Europe. So there is no more discussion. You will see multifocal lenses, uh, it's only 2.1%. 2.1%. Multifocal toric IOL is less, is one or three percent implanted in Europe. And toric IOL, and I work for 15 years about that, and it's 3.3 percent. <coughs> so we speak a lot about multi toric lenses, but look at that 93 percent is normal lenses. So I think, I think the, the factory just laugh out of us. And that's the, the difference uh, between trifocal, bifocal, and multifocal is less important. I think trifocal will be really uh, the, the best uh, lenses uh, after that. That's uh, a pattern uh, in Canada. They do quite more uh, surgery. But if you look here, they, they put hydrophic, hydrophobic acrylic of 70%, toric IOL, they, they asked, 88% ask, and they use up to 10%. So they do a little bit more, but not too much more. And multifocal, 50% to 98% ask for multifocal, and the best are doing 10% injection. <laughs> so it's very, not too much. And that's a, a real <coughs> statistic of, of our uh, net of our <coughs> clinic. We, we implanted 3,556 implants. And premium, when we add a, a filter inside the eye, in Switzerland, it's a premium lens. So the optometrist and the optician do very well. They do a third. So the, a third of the patient pay <coughs> an, addi an, an addition for the premium lenses when it's just a filter, because it's easy. And when you look at the bifocal, because at this time we have done only bifocal, and uh, it was only 108 lenses, that's in 3.2 percent. And I'm really convinced, like, like Salva, I say, we have to put this lens, that's definitely. And we try, <coughs> I, I try very hard to, to put the trifocal lenses. And Doric, it's already 15 years that I work with all my surgeons, and look, 5.2 percent. I'm really desperate. It's really just, and, and every day I say to the optometrist, to the surgeon, do at least story. 
lenses because it's better. But it's more difficult to put a toric lenses than the normal lenses. Like we have, uh, we were training, and that we have to change not only in the mind but in our hand. And so one one of the a, a big problem that we have is when it doesn't work, we don't know how to take out the lenses. And that's one of the points that I will discuss with you today. Uh, we will go back to this stuff just to, to answer to your question. Technics, bifocal, technics, symphony, and fine vision is quite the same. And if you, let's go to the astigmatism. You have that the Gatinel system, in between two focal, you have its blur. That's why you have to correct all the astigmatism when you put a B or trifocal or a head of lenses. Because if you don't correct it, it will not work. Let's go to this film. So we put a lot of OVD dispersive inside the eye, both sides of the lens, and to protect the endothelium. Then we leave the incision of 2.2, it's our main incision between 2.0 and 2.2. We use the Nagara hook, which is very smart, very easy, it's longer than just a little uh, hook, and uh, a new crocodile pincet with teeth. And that's, that's it. So that's the tools. And I will just show you the, this video from Bobby O'Shea, I just picked it. Uh, tonight and it's it's it's, it's a nice uh, video. I don't know if uh, we can have the the song, and it will show you. In the first case, I inject the lens, and something. It was at the ICS. Become the game. I turn the one key lens into a three piece lens. <laughs> It's hard to breathe. It's just suffocating from panic and guilt as the evidence is removed from the scene of the crime. <coughs> That's why it's better to implant the play tactic. It's easier. The Aguchi technique begins by prolapsing the damaged lens from the bag into the interior chamber. The incision is enlarged to three millimeters to allow the introduction of the system. They enlarge three millimeters. That's pretty wrong Just because you induce a big astigmatism with three millimeters. This is a perfect example of a textbook. The lens is rotated 90 degrees. Okay. The second incision is being intersecting the first incision. And, and look at this scissor. It's very, very difficult to cut the with this scissor. The I try that. Can be removed. Sorry. The remainder of the damaged lens can be rotated out of the incision and explanted safely. Scissors, which is a real bullshit. This is what you've been trained for. You are America's best. Make us proud. So we did that with the Ernest technique, which also begins by collapsing the lens out of the bag into the anterior chamber. Well, sorry, it's, it's a the same. The penetrating stale incision is placed 180 degrees away from the I main incision. It's a and then a smooth <laughs> spatula is directed under the optic. I just and want to show you. The lens yeah. is full. Okay. Let, let's go to see to see another technique, and I, I think it's it's a, it's a simple one. Sorry. I well. 
No, this one. So we put the lens in the, in the uh, photo camera uh, and uh, with uh, with the Nagara hook, and then we use a simple vanas, and we don't enlarge the 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 main incision. The the, the incision stay to 2.2, and we just take uh, the 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 aptic, uh, the, the the plate aptic with a scissor. It's just a little bit tricky at this time, and then you catch the lens. Then with the Nagara, you go behind and you push your lens, and the scissor doesn't move too much till the end. So you push the lens with the Nagara and you cut in two. And that's quite, it's not so easy, but it's quite easy to do it. You go slowly with an OVD, uh, with full of OVD, and uh, it's, uh, you can cut it quite easily. And you cut till you have finished the lens. And you can do that uh, with hydrophobic or hydrophilic, doesn't matter. With hydrophobic, it just a little. You just have to go a little slower, but to cut the, the hydrophobic, it's not a problem. Then you adjust your, your lens uh, just to, to put in, uh, in, in, the, in the in the in the in the main incision. You add a OVD. Then you you take this little. Pin set with teeth, and you take out the the, the, the first piece, and you just go very slowly, and the lens will shrink inside the, the main incision. And you take a Macpherson when you have more lenses, and you go very very slowly, avoiding the cement fold. Then you take the other one, and so you are ready to implant another one. <coughs> and now, with this technique, which is quite better than before, after one, two, two months, if the people are not happy with a trifocal or toric well or any problems, you put a simple <coughs> lenses, you give the money back to the people, and they are quite happy with you. Thank you.